Hi guys, this is Victor with DIY Time Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how I ran into a problem with the remote management lock on my iPad and how I fixed it. I purchased this used iPad on eBay a few years ago, and it was working fine, I didn't have any problems with it. And then recently I decided to sell it, and I wanted to reset it to a factory state and delete all of my data off of it. And when I did that, that's when I've got this remote management lock screen. In general, big companies or corporations install this software to manage, control or track their devices remotely. And many times when they're done using those devices, they just sell them to someone else and they often forget to remove or deactivate this remote management software. To fix the problem, I found this unlock service on eBay, which costs less than $3. And you can use this to unlock the remote management lock screen. If you're interested, I'll post the link for this service in the description area below. The way it works is you buy the unlock service and then you're gonna need to provide the serial number of the iOS device that you would like to unlock. Then you're gonna receive the unlock instructions and the program to complete the unlock process. To get the serial number of your device, you just need to connect it to your computer and open iTunes and the serial number will be provided there. After you paid for the unlock service, you're gonna get a link to download MDM unlock tool. You will need to save this tool on the same computer that you're going to be using to reset your iOS device. Next, you're going to need to connect your iOS device to the computer and restore it using iTunes. The restore process may take several minutes and you'll need to keep your eye on it because when it's finished, the iTunes will start 10 seconds countdown and that's when you need to immediately close the iTunes and open the MDM unlock tool. Next, click on MDM Bypass button. Wait for a few seconds until you receive the message that MDM Bypass process was completed successfully. And finally, open up your iOS device and make sure you can unlock and start using it now. Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and if so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.